Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming. Today we have Anchor Solex 1056 watt hour, 1800 watt power station. I'm excited to use this because we need to make sure that when the power goes out, because summertime our power seems to go out quite a lot, just flickering on and off. I'm not only gonna use this as a portable power solution, but also a battery backup for my computer. I'll let you see what that computer setup looks like later, but I'm hoping that this can do the job for me. But I also want to test how I can charge this with the solar panels. So I also got the, let's move this around. Also got the, if you can see that, oh, let me turn it the right way. The Solanex PS100 portable solar panels. So I think it's um, 100 watts. Uh, you could get multiple of these. I'll have to check the instructions to see how many you can put together. I think you up to four, but I only have the one, which is like two um, solar panel things in here and a hundred watts of solar power. And I have not plugged this in. I'm trying to charge it from, from the factory to a hundred percent with the solar panels only. And I hope I can do that because it says it, char it can charge up to 100% in two hours. So I don't know what the wattage is right now, but I have probably a few hours before the sun gets taken over by rain clouds, which would have rain today. So real world test to see if I can get this thing up and running, charged to 100% in just a couple hours. Okay, sorry for the noise. Outside, the air conditioner is home. So I got it, I got it working. I had to connect both cables to the solar panel for it to work. And right now, it looks like we have 50 watts going in of solar. So 50 watts of solar, I'll probably uh, do a screen grab where I can show you what it looks like on the app, because I did download the app and that is working fine. We have the solar panels and you can see the two cords are going. I have one cord going to it, to the Solex, and it wasn't charging. Cause I think that's only half the power needs both of the, the cords to go to it to complete the circuit and charge. Uh, so we'll see it's been, it's probably been about 30 minutes um, since I plugged it in and it was at 92% with a little charge that I had from the AC outlet. And I mean, it went from 88 to, eight to 92 in a minute, two minutes. So this is gonna be a while. Um, but I had 92%, we're trying to get to 100% just off the of solar. The Anchor Solex C1000 portable power station has 1,056 watt hours and 1,800 watts surges up to 2400 watts with surge pad can be cycled according to the company 3000 times with the lfp batteries in a five year five year hassle-free warranty i want to know in year four and a half if it's truly going to be hassle-free because i will send this thing right back if it's not working or charging up to 80 percent can be charged with up to 600 watts of solar capacity and can, can connect the Solex BP-1000 expansion battery to double the capacity to over 2000 watt hours. It has 11, if I had an extra finger, I would show it to you. It has 11 outputs, one car output, two USB-A outputs, two USB-C outputs, six AC outlets for whatever you th can think of to plug in a standard plug, like a TV, projector, microwave, 3D printer, whatever you would like to plug in 
that is limitless. I'm gonna use it as a power source for my uh, refrigerator in the event we have a power outage that's longer than a couple minutes. Um, in the time that I've been in this house, over 10 years, we've only had maybe one or two instances of an outage being longer than an hour where I considered the food in my refrigerator or freezer going out. I've had a few weeks to put the Solex C1000 through its paces. I've used it at a vendor event with my wife. I powered our register and, our, and charged our phones for about eight hours in the hot August heat. Sadly, I don't have the footage. My phone decided to up and die and I had to replace it. Anyway, the battery only went down to 86% after a full eight hours of use. We could have done a whole weekend show Friday to Sunday without any need to charge or worry about where we need to run an extension cord or someone tripping over that extension cord because even though it's orange and across the floor, someone's not gonna be paying attention and they'll trip over it and it would be a whole thing. So we didn't have to worry about that. This solves that need. It is portable power and I am for it. I think that this will be a big help when we're running our shows outside of the house when they don't have power and we don't and now we don't even have to ask for power. We have enough power to run my <laughs> our stand and someone else's stand. So we could even charge for that. I can make some of this money back. I did pay for this. This was not sent to me or sponsored. I uh, paid for, for this with my own money because I thought it would be useful for us. So, but Anchor, if you have something else, I am looking to power our whole house. So you can send that to me, reach out, or maybe I'll reach out to you. Like I mentioned earlier, I use the C1000 as a UPS for my office computers. It's currently running everything right now. So lights, computer, the monitors, I'll throw that, that uh, image back up, everything right now. So all this light right here, um, it's coming from the Solex C1000. It's virtually silent. The fans only turn on when it's charging um, the battery and that's only a few seconds at a time. It won't always stay at 100% and it'll go down to like 98, 97, and then it'll charge back up. And I'll get a message on uh, the app saying fully charged. So it's always topped off. It's always ready. I've unplugged uh, the plug from the wall really quickly to see how fast the switchover is. It's within milliseconds. I think it's at like 20 milliseconds. In my simulated test of a power outage, I unplugged the plug from the wall and within milliseconds when it switches over my computer and monitors act like I've added or taken away a monitor so if you've ever plugged in a monitor or, or unplugged a monitor while your computer was on the screens will like kind of shrink down and then go back out so that's what happens when I uh, unplug the C1000 force uh, manually switch over to the backup power it it's really within seconds I don't think I've ever lost anything in that transition. Nothing stopped recording or kicked me out of a meeting. My internet doesn't go out because I have a UPS on my internet upstairs. So now any, nothing actually stops the power from going and continuing. So I've solved one thing, at least for the electronics in the house. Um, in the two main areas, my network and my computer. But for the whole home, I am looking for that. Anchor, here's another shout out. Come talk to me. Anchor, come talk to me. I still have a few more ideas of what I should try using the C1000 to power like my smoker. Uh, I use it to cook some burgers. I could have easily smoked a chicken or a turkey breast. I probably could even do like a po pork roast or a, a beef brisket which could take considerably longer to smoke, but I don't see any issue with this handling that load, especially if I'm not running fans or a heater or anything else off of it at the time that I'm smoking, I'm pretty sure that it could do multiple hours of smoking just fine. 
So if you're in need of a portable power source, give Anchor Solex C1000 a try. From Walker Family Reviews, I'm giving it two thumbs up because of the ease of use, the app, it has solar power and then it can charge up to 600 watts. I don't have panels capable of that, but I might buy another panel to see a 400 watt pot panel. We'll see, but check it out. It's always good to have portable power when you need it. That's what I think. And if you like me, when electricity goes out, I like to have some kind of backup so I can still do stuff and not just sit here on my phone and drain that until it dies and then get in my car and drive around and try to recharge it. I just like to sit at home and do my thing, right? All right, until next time, peace.